Okay, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make this because I had a hard time finding a tutorial on this exact project. So what this is is a constellation projector from Five and Below. It's supposed to be for ages six and up, but I'm having a hard time and I'm definitely not six. So I've already opened it. I've already started the process, but had trouble, so I took it apart again. What I'm going to do first is look at the instructions. The instructions are here. They have the different parts with letters, and that will help you later on with all these parts that you have to put together. So I've crossed off a couple of things, but again, I'm going to have to do them again because I already did it. The first thing you do is you put the batteries in. You have to use a Phillips head screwdriver. To open the batteries okay so that comes off easy with a screwdriver and then the open side is here but you know yours comes without these already on so it'll open up very easily put the batteries in the flat side goes to the springs other side and then you put this back on Put the screw back in. Step one was to put the batteries in. Step two is to attach the foam circles to the stands. You take the paper off so that the sticky part is exposed and then attach it and you just make sure that the hole is flush with the other hole. And then you do the same thing with the B. This is where you stick the double-sided sticky squares on the LED battery pack. Step four, with the power switch facing up, attach the battery and LED tray to stand B. Again, this is stand B. You want to make sure to get it flush to the foam circle. And then... With the back verticals, insert the LED port through, and that's letter M, through stand B. Again, this is stand B. This whole thing is stand B. And the LED port, I kept looking at the bag full of these gray things over and over again, trying to find this port they're talking about. There is a part, there's a part in here that's different than the rest. I know, is this? So this is the LED port. M, you're going to slide it through B, but in the instructions it doesn't say where in B, and I actually had to do this twice. So this part is, you're going to put it in through this part of B, insert one of the LEDs, letter J, through the LED port with the short leg on the left and the long leg on the right. So this part, you're going to want to do, make sure that this is vertical. Step seven, you're going to attach the black wire to the short leg. And that's this one. This part was pretty easy to understand. Of it in there. This is all loose still, and that's okay. And then the red goes on the right. Okay, and then you want to check your connection by turning it on. And it works, so that's good. Attach stand A to the battery pack LED tray. And you're going to want to make sure that not only is the, the pack flush to the bottom of the circle, but you also kind of want to make sure that it's kind of perpendicular to a surface as well at the same time. And then you stick it. Just sticks like that. And then number 10 is we're going to fold the stand B onto stand A 
and slide the wooden dowel. That's why it's important to have the saw flush to a surface and to make sure that the holes all line up. So this kind of goes like a pocketbook. So it's going to go over this and we want to make sure we don't pull too hard on the wires. And that goes like that. Okay. So it looks like a pocketbook kind of and it keeps it all together. So yeah, I just used a scrap piece of cardboard, nothing special. You lay it on, on the surface of the cardboard and then you take the pin that it comes with and it comes with a nice safety cap and you just poke holes in all of the constellations. You just poke them all out and if you think you missed anything you can always look at the back and make sure you didn't miss anything. That part was fun. And you're going to fold all the flaps um, at a 90 degree angle and there's already some perforations in here so that will help you do that. It was nice and easy. I also folded these flaps at the same time. Actually, I apparently skipped this one. So that's an easy step there. And I don't know why the directions didn't say to do this in the first place. So instead of putting the double stickies on the part with the circle in the middle, I decided to put the double stickies right on the tabs to make it easier. I wanted to show this part to show why I thought that the hexagon part with the circle in it um, didn't work for me. So as you can see, I'm putting it together. I'm using the black tape to fix the seam. We use the black tape that came with it. Attach foam circles to the platform. Fold one of the arms down and slide it through the wooden dowel until the platform's center hole lines up with the LED. So we're going to punch out this. Let's just punch out all the holes because I'm sure they all need to be punched out. The feet kept falling off, but it's not important. Okay, so according to this, we're putting screws on it, but we're not attaching it to the dome until after. I'm confused. Okay. 
So these little guys here are spacers. And these are the screws and dome on top of the platform. Okay. Place the tabs over each set of spacers. Let's see here. Like that. It works way better without the spacers under. So this is what the instructions tell you to do. They tell you to put a screw on the bottom, a spacer in the middle, and then another screw on the top. But it, honestly, it's pretty loose when you do it like that. It's, it's. I mean, there's a lot of space in there. It's. I think it's too much space. And it actually ends up making the light flood out of the bottom of it way more. This is the one, this is how you're supposed to do it. It's a lot of light coming out the bottom of it. But this is how I'm going to do it. I am disappointed at how much um, light is actually getting to the ceiling and you really can't see the constellations very well. Of course there's a lot of flooding. There's a lot of light flooding in here. So I'm going to see what it looks like maybe in a closet. Right off the windows. Yeah, it's, it's a lot better in here. You can't really see it, but it is illuminating a lot better in here. If I was going to rate this project from 1 to 10, I would give it a 1 um, because the instructions were a lot more difficult than I think that they needed to be and it did not come out like I would have expected it to. I expected that the constellations would show up on the wall brighter even in a dark room. It was completely black. So I would recommend maybe a, maybe something, poking it with something maybe a little bit wider than a, just a tack. Um, but it was fun to make. It took about an hour to make, which was a lot longer than I think it needed to, but part of it was because I had problems with the materials that it came with. My, um, the ring that it came with was not wide enough for the dome, and I ended up having to use the scrap piece that came with it to force it to work, <laughs> but I did get it to work. Um, I also did not use the spacers to space this part of the cardboard out. I, I used the spacer kind of as like a, a nut and bolt kind of thing instead of a screw and a spacer um, because this would have um, been too, too far spaced out and it would have flooded out light in places I didn't want it to. You can see the constellations that are shining on my face even in the light so you would have to really have it really close to the wall that you wanted it projected on or just make the holes bigger. Other than that, the LED is really bright um, and it was a fun, cool project to make and I love looking at the stars. So this was, it was kind of cool. I guess it was worth it for the price. I think it was $5 at five and below. So again, that's my thing.